What's up, y'all? Alright, this is Swain, and uh, right now I'm going to take a listen to uh, Big Crit's newest mixtape that he dropped uh, called It's Better This Way. Uh, I know Big Crit's coming off uh, like a major album that he released in Catalactica, one of my favorite albums of 2014. Uh, stuff like My Sub, Catalactica, uh, Do You Love Me? Mount Olympus, Lack Lack, all that kind of stuff. Big Crit's one of my one of my favorite underground artists. You know, a person that stays humble but doesn't always get the the recognition he he rightfully deserves, in my opinion. So uh, I'm more than excited to start this off. Uh, so we're gonna skip past the intro and we're gonna go right into King Part Four. Definitely a nice upbeat, funky vibe to it. Really big in the horns. But this is kind of right in Crit's alley, you know. Definitely sounds like a, uh, you know, very, very soulful production. But uh, you know, his delivery kind of takes it above the beat itself. I mean, I, I like the note that we started off on. Uh, we are gonna go on to the next one. It's called 86. See, I mean, I really, you know, Crit really knows when he produces his own tracks, he really knows how to play to himself. And it's, you know, he, he definitely has his own flow, but when he also produces it, it's just... It's too. It almost fits him too well, honestly. Like it's, it's right in that pocket, and you know, right in that. God damn it, is right. Shit. Fire. Fire. Uh, there's no doubt about that one. Uh. Let's slide to the next one. No Static featuring Warren G. Honestly, just another example of Crit knowing exactly what he needs and giving it to us. Produce the beat and rides it perfect. And it's not about necessarily what he's saying, but it's about the flow that he brings to it that just smooth. He brings a smooth beat to himself and is like, let me give you a smooth ass flow to ride this. It's not up tempo, but it's it's got a nice bounce to it that gives you this perfect little pocket for him to hit on this on this chorus. And I mean it, it's it's not much to it necessarily. I mean no static. No static. But it, it, just the whole thing rides. It's, it's very, very complimentary. Right, so the next one is going to be Peace on Change. You know, I, I can't doubt Crick for finding a nice groove on these beats. And, you know, the, the hook is going to have to grow on me, but honestly, I, I can't, I can't, that's... I'll, I'll be truthful. I'm not vibing super hard with the track currently, but there's too much bounce for me not to just get with it. Like I, I can, you know, not dig into the words, but I can still find a nice pocket to ride in. All right. So now we're gonna slide to the next. It's gonna be Shake 'Em Off featuring Luda and K Camp. Starts off with a nice little. So, nice little bass line. This beat, this, this hook is too fire. Luda was perfect for this feature and it really came with like that perfect southern twang on that flow. 
and I mean, this hook is undeniable. Uh, right here, right here. Fire. Fire! Alright, uh, next one, gonna be, uh, how about that money? Featuring a young Dolph. These pockets that this motherfucker is just sitting in is just fire. Uh, you know, he's he's just got a nice. You know, it, and I mean, it, it's another track that he produced, so it's it's unsurprising to me that he would find like such a nice pockets to hit, and he really just rides them so clean. And I mean, all I have to do is look at the production credits, and it's just Big Crit produced by Big Crit. It's almost too easy. It's almost too easy. He knows exactly the kind of stuff that he fits in, and then he fits right in. So the next track, eighth track, we all hit up, In the Darkness. He's got a very nice bounce to it. Uh, I honestly don't know what it is, but it's... Kind of reminded me of some like Travis Scott type beat. I, I, I don't know what it is just yet, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. A very layered track, you know, there's definitely a lot of processed vocals. A little bit more than I would say than a regular crit track would be. Uh, you know, kind of, and, and I won't say that the progressiveness of the beat is out of crit style, but. You know, I feel like I'm falling back onto my previous statement of kind of like a Travis Scotty beat, a very evolvy, a very, I hate to keep using the word process, but I feel it and I hear it and it's not a bad thing. Alright, so the next track is going to be Vanilla Sky. Even on these slow tracks, he finds just like these smooth, I don't, I don't even know what it is, but it's just... You know, I don't, I don't lose focus on, the, on, even when he brings the tempo down, I'm still there with him. Uh, next song is gonna be Get Me Through. Chris too fucking smooth on this, like, this extra southern beat, you know, it's kinda just got like that fallback on like the drum pattern, but these like little instrumental samples in between just make it just like this I, I don't know he just knows it I mean I've said it too many times he knows exactly how to play them so truthfully I don't even like that this track that much right off the off the bat but it's just the vibe that it puts out it makes it impossible to not give it a chance Next one is gonna be uh, Can't Be Still, featuring BJ the Chicago Kid. Kind of a more down tempo track, but still falls into that same crit produced, crit rapping category where it's too much of what crit knows to play it down to where it would be inconsequential on the album. Seven projects in is like, dude knows too much on how to play to his own strengths. It's ridiculous. Truly. And I mean, I don't know anyone out there that's bringing that much to the table on the production tip and on the rap and stuff, because he's not slacking on either one at all. Next up is Keep It Booming. Full of that bounce. Bounce! More of that crit on crit action. Next track up, Party Tonight. You know, this track's kind of like right in crit's kind of like slower tempo lane, but he's trying to give you like that, that, that party turn up track, but 
he gives it to you in the way that he wants you to have it. You know, he, he still wants to give you that, that smoothness, that, that southern drawl musically. He does it in a way that doesn't come off as as trite. Like this is this is the way the crit would bring it to you, and I I, I can't doubt it. There's there's not not a groove. The beat is fire, and I mean the hook is right exactly what you want it to be. The motherfucker's just not yelling it at you. So the last track is gonna be the title track. Is better this way. I I dig the vibe of the track overall uh, I do feel as if it's a little bit more down you know it, I feel like it ended in a kind of a more of a down beat than than what I was than what I personally was hoping for it, it's not to take anything away from Crit at all but lower on the tempo than what I would have ended it off on because I feel like I was I was up here for a lot of it but you know it kind of ended it down here and it's not my expectations it's you know just it's just better this way so I just got done listening first first run through on uh, crit is better this way uh, you know dropped it out of the clear blue honestly I'm, I'm happy about it I'm happy about it uh, you know any new crit is good crit uh, tracks that stood out for me uh, 86 uh, shake them off definitely um, I did like in the darkness uh, what do we got keep it booming party tonight is another one and I mean I do feel like I kind of hit on more of the the up tempo tracks but the down tempo tracks weren't a detractor from the overall project because they were still in crits lane and crits lane is this absurdly southern I don't know the word trueness jumps out to me because I feel like when I say southern all people can think about is Atlanta and I I understand Atlanta is bumping right now but this southern vibe like this very very twangy this you know soulful smoothness you know, not just this booming, uh, you know, hi hat and 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 trap sounds. It's it's soulful, and this soulful southernness is what Crit is, and he has continued to hone it. And I feel like it's better this way. Doesn't take away from the lane that he is cultivating, and I I truly I truly welcome it. Uh, I, w I wasn't expecting this album. I didn't know what to expect, except except that Crit's name was on it. My opinion, first listen, Crit is better this way. Hit the download. It's definitely worth your time, and I definitely feel like you're going to find a groove within these 14 tracks that suits you, and it most definitely suits Crit. Do your ears some justice. Hit the download. Swank.